Yo, what is going on guys? Prevised here back with another video. So about a week ago, week ago, I've brought you guys this video, which was requested by someone. And basically, whenever you would go in an arena, you would have a tool or weapon equipped. And there was a problem with that. And I didn't realize until a few of y'all commented. I think it was like two or three people commented. Now, the code did work. But the problem is whenever you walk off the platform, it would unequip it, but you would still have your tool to be able to equip it and unequip it at the same time. So I didn't even realize that whenever I was creating this video. And then I realized from some of those comments that I was talking about just now, I was thinking, you know, oh, maybe we should do the backpack GY and get rid of it. So basically that would mean whenever we, uh, put that in the script to disable the backpack GUI, it would remove this right here, everything, so you wouldn't see it. And whenever you just walk on the platform, it would just e equip the tool and it would disable you from pressing one or two or same thing as clicking these buttons right here. Watch, I'll show you again. Whenever you walk off, see, you could still press one or two and that i didn't even realize and i'm very sorry about that i will keep this video on youtube because it seemed like it it helped you guys a good bit and you know it's just some code just to help you understand but this time we're going to be using filtering enabled and kind of just rearranging the code and basically making it work like we want just stay tuned you guys are going to enjoy this video and all the code will be down in the description so y'all be sure to check that out. So I'm gonna show you guys right now what we have. So as you can see right now, whenever we join the game, this is everything in my backpack. I just have a lawnmower. As you can see, whenever I open up players right here, oh, let me, I'm gonna unequip it. All right, lawnmower is in my backpack. And how it works basically, whenever you equipped a tool, it just goes from your backpack to your character, as you can see right here, if you guys didn't know. So, I'm going to have my lawnmower equipped. I'm just going to show you guys some examples. So, whenever I walk on, as you can see, it equips my sword. And I don't have to worry about disabling the backpack GY. Whenever I walk off, it gives me my tools back. And, yeah, that's uh, it works a whole lot better now. And I haven't had any bugs with it. I did test it a good bit. If you guys do have any bugs, just let me know. But uh, like I said, the code will be all down in the description. If you want to understand this code a little more, be sure to stay tuned. Also, guys, if I didn't mention, be sure to check out this video. That's if you want to, you know, kind of understand what was going on and where and how we set up everything. But basically, I'm going to show you right here. This is, um, I, you know, if you don't want to do that, I'll just tell you right now. You can just create a folder in workspace, name it areas. And this main block, um, I'll go over it more with you in that other video, but basically this is just the area that you can walk into and make sure can collide is false. So that way you can walk through it. That's just the area um, for walking into. Um, so we just have that one part in there. That's all we really need. And in this video, our tool is going to be inside of replicated storage instead of our backpack. Um, but yeah, and also we are going to need remote events, like I said in the beginning of the video, because this is FE compatible, it's filtering enabled compatible. Um, so yeah, so basically just right click on replicated storage, insert object, remote event, and rename that to tool event. All right, so next up right here is our sword area script. Okay, this can be renamed to whatever you would like. Just make sure that you have a server script inside of server script service. This is what a server script looks like. It's this blue script. Okay, and this code will be in the description. Be sure to check that out. Okay, it's going to be called server script or uh, sword area server script, something along those lines. And there will also be a local script as well that y'all will need to grab. Uh, be sure to check those two out. But here I am, I'm going to explain a little bit of it. Um, a lie. Before I explain everything, if y'all really don't want to understand this code, um, before I start explaining the code, make sure that y'all do have this areas folder right here. 
the domain object like I showed earlier. Uh, inside of replicated storage, that's where you're going to put your, your weapon for whenever you walk in the arena, that little area. Um, make sure you also have this remote event right here called tool event. Um, this server script will be in server script service. And uh, inside of starter player, go in starter character scripts. This is where your local script is going to be placed. Sword area local script. It can be named whatever. That's basically it. Those scripts will be in a paste bin link down in the description. Be sure to check those out. All right, guys, we're going to start off in the local script. All right. So now all we're doing right here is just making variables, you know, obviously to get the player in a local script, local player, getting the character, you do player.character. And then another method is doing r player.character added wait, just so that way we can wait for the character to be added if it hasn't already been added in. But that's why we put our local script inside of starter character scripts. Um, so that way we, w we really wouldn't have to use this, but just keep it in case, whatever, you know, I like to just be safe than sorry, basically. All right. So weapon, this is our weapon variable right here. Link sword is going to be the name of your, the name of your weapon, which is inside of replicated storage right here. Link sword is mine. So that's what I put right here. Make sure it is spelled the exact same way. All right. Right here we get replicated storage just you know that's the service right here um we get the remote event tool event right here and we get areas which is the folder and workspace and right here we get the humanoid root part which is inside of each character whenever a player joins it's inside of each character all right we make a variable um called got sword which is going to be our debounce so that way we can check if our player has got the sword already or if he didn't and we make a touching variable right here we just name it to nil um now i did go over all this code in the first video so i'm just going to kind of skip through all this so basically right here we make a variable called item and we go in replicated storage wait for child weapon dot name reason we go inside of replicated storage just to get the the name of the weapon that's what we're trying to do it's just because this weapon is always going to stay right here and that way we can just easily grab the name because this link sword name is going to be used throughout the whole weapon system. So we're just sending it through, okay, right here. And right here, um, if you don't know what this is, whenever I fire the server, fire server uh, works for um, filtering enabled. So this is just a request that, that I'm sending. So let me open up the server script right here. So whenever you're making the function, um, either on server event or on client event for on server event, the first parameter is the player. So you want to make sure that player is always put right here. That's a given. Next is whatever is being sent through your fire server. So right here I have stepped on. This can be anything, but for my case, I just put it stepped on because it makes sense with the code for me. So that's what Val is. So if Val is stepped on, so whenever it fires this server right here, <clears throat> stepped on, then it's gonna run because that's what we're sending through. And this is just to prevent exploiters from kind of exploiting our game in a way. So that's um, using things like that, you know, sending um, a string and checking it after inside of your uh, your function just a, a good a good practice to be honest all right and then we sent item right here also which item is the weapons name which is um, link sword so we sent that through okay um so basically whenever in this local script whenever we call fire server it's going to fire the server which is right here this is the remote event tool event and we say on server event it's going to fire this and like we said if it if Val is stepped on, which basically means whenever it's called, whenever it gets fired, because we are only sending stepped on, whenever it's stepped on, then we finish the rest of the code. And whenever it's stepped off, then it runs just this code right here. And then for the touched event function, we are calling stepped off. All right, so basically, whenever we step on, the area it's going to search through our character 
okay it's gonna see if there's any tools in our character and if there is and then it's gonna place it inside of our um our folder that is made right here so every time a player gets added it's going to create a folder inside of replicated storage and name it uh, for example fire dust tools um, just like this this layout right here um, so yeah it puts all our tools that's in our character inside of that folder so that way we can hold it for later and then we search through the backpack okay we get all the back ch backpacks children and then we say if whatever tool this is saying if whatever tools in the backpacks name does not equal to the item dot name so if it if whatever item doesn't equal to the link sword because that's what item is it's that um it's the link sword name that we're sending through uh whatever is not the link sword then it's going to put it inside of our um our folder that's holding all of our stuff now we want to check and make sure if it's not link sword because we don't want to have that link sword put inside of our folder because everything in that folder that we're storing all our tools in we don't want that to be placed back in our backpack which is what we're going to be doing soon i'll show you right here that is right here what i was just talking about um so it searches through the folder it gets all the children see now we get all the tools back now i did make comments to kind of explain to you guys what it does so see it takes the tool and it puts it back in player dog backpack all right anyways so i just wanted to show you guys that right quick while i was on that topic so right here we have new weapon equals item clone so item is right here okay that's our link sword inside of replicated storage so we clone that and then we set the parent to our, and then we set the parent inside of our backpack so we want to put the weapon inside of our backpack and then we say character dot humanoid equip tool new weapon so equip tool is just a function to equip um, a tool basically and then you can also say unequip tools right here just to unequip tools and this just works inside of the humanoid um but yeah so right here we're at stepped off okay we get the character basically we just want to unequip all the tools and then clear all the children in the backpack we can get rid of everything and then we want to say unequip tools just one more time just to make sure because i was having a little problems with it and doing that two times actually helped out a little bit i have realized and yeah i explained this already and then whenever the player moves it removes the folder for that specific player and that's just about it guys um but yeah i'm going to show you guys one more time if you are still watching as we can see it seems to be working just fine well i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please be sure to subscribe if you're new um be sure to drop a like i'd really appreciate that be sure to stay tuned for more and request some videos if y'all need to. I appreciate y'all for being here. Thanks for watching.